Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. No, I did not buy a food processor like the box would imply. I bought something way more interesting. I have always been fascinated by vintage old lures. I've made numerous videos talking about old lures, old fishing rods, and all that kind of stuff. Well, recently I was on eBay poking around, like one does, and I came across tackle boxes. Old vintage tackle boxes completely stocked with lures that you can buy on eBay. So I went ahead and I bought an old vintage tackle box and it has now arrived in this blender box. This is really exciting because I don't really know what's in here. There were some pictures but I didn't look too closely because I really wanted this to be a surprise. Let me just say this, buying a vintage tackle box full of vintage tackle is not very cheap but it should be very interesting. I'm very curious to see what lures came in the box and who knows what we're going to find in here. So without further ado, uh, let's break this box open and take a look at what came in this vintage tackle box. Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and split the top open right here. They used a lot of packing tape. I got to give them points for creativity when it comes to the packaging, for sure. I've never really seen anything packaged in a uh, food processor, but that is cool nonetheless. Okay, there's some, uh, what looks to be some sort of cushioning, and here is the tackle box. Snug, snugly fit in the box right here, all right. Ooh, this is exciting. Here it is. Whew! This, this is truly exciting. Like I said, I've always been a fan of old vintage stuff like this, and this tackle box is truly very, very old. It's, it's solid metal, and it's got a very beautiful look to it. It's got a nice kind of patina on here. Very, very beautiful. Let's crack it open. Woo! There's stuff in here. It's kind of jammed. There we go. Look at this. This thing is full of stuff. This is truly exciting. It's got a bit of a funky odor, but nevertheless, this looks like some crazy cool stuff. All right, so I'm noticing a lot of different tackle in here. There is some stuff that looks very old, and then there's some stuff that looks a little bit newer, uh, such as some of these spinner baits right here. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of go through all of the things that I'm seeing in this tackle box as I kind of take it out and pile it over here. So let's just start with the main compartment down here. There's a ton of stuff down here. First things first, we have a bait knife. This is a knife that you're gonna use to cut up bait. And this is pretty standard in old tackle boxes. I've seen this before. They usually include a knife. Uh, that looks pretty cool. It's definitely old and the handle actually looks homemade, which is pretty neat. We have an empty case of weights right here. There's nothing in these, but we have an old packet of hooks right there, as you can see, and another empty weight case. Some more hooks right there, kind of rusty, but this definitely still has hooks in them. We have a knife sharpener. We have this thing, not totally sure what that is, but there's that. Weights right here, uh, a large selection of them. Yep, split shots, okay. We got some split shots right there. We have this thing. We have this thing right here. This is a really cool piece. This is a Fisherman D liar. And basically what this is, is uh, this is a uh, scales. It's got a spring in there and as you can see, you can hang your fish on there and it tells you the scales and you can tell if a fisherman is lying, I guess. It's a pretty cool piece. I've actually seen these before and I wanted to buy one just because they're a beautiful uh, piece of uh, fishing history. As you can see, it's got some really cool graphics on the front. Pretty awesome stuff right there. Really old power bait. That looks very old. Probably from the 90s, I'm guessing. Let's give this a sniff and see how it smells. It smells different. It actually doesn't smell too rank, so that's good. So we have that. We got some more power bait right here. Again, these bags look pretty old. These are some weird little grubs. They look like little trailers. I've actually never seen anything like that before. It's some weird little grub. My guess is you just kind of thread it on the back of a jig 
and it's going to act as a little bit of a trailer. We have, whoa, we have some crusty stuff here. We have a big grub that's kind of fused with some, yeah, got this Got this crusty old grub right here. Probably not going to keep that. We have a very old pack of grubs right there, as you can see. They're yellow. Still in the, still in the original packaging, which is kind of neat. All right, this looks interesting right here. This is a MEPS Lunker um, jig kit. It's got a bunch of marabou jigs in it. And these actually look really sweet. Wow. These are hand tied right here. There's a purple one, there's a white one, there's a nice yellow one right there, here's a blue one, here is an orange one. I gotta say these jigs are in great condition, I could totally see myself throwing some of these in the future, uh, but to have a kit like this is pretty awesome. I don't know how old this kit is, but my guess is probably not made anymore, I could be wrong. Um, but that is super sweet as well. All right, we got some more stuff in the bottom of the tackle box. We have some bobbers. We have another pack of power bait. This one looks a little newer. Uh, this is the pa the power nymph right there. And then we have some other miscellaneous lures in the bottom. We have a little spoon right there, as you can see there. Pretty cool little spoon. Got a little spinner bait. As you can see there. And we have couple of marabou jigs. These are just kind of the standard ones. You can still buy these today. They're not super rare. We have a little vial with absolutely nothing in it. So far, there's some interesting stuff in this box. Uh, a lot of actually really useful stuff. Uh, stuff that I can totally reuse. I haven't found anything super old yet, but judging by some of the stuff on the top, we'll probably get into some more older fishing lures. Uh, it's possible that through the years, this guy just kept upgrading his tackle and he didn't keep every old lure. Without further ado, let's jump into the next little bit of tackle right here. We have a Thomas spoon still in the original packaging and this does not look super old. Uh, this looks fairly new. I'm pretty sure you can still buy these. We have a crankbait. This one has no markings on it whatsoever. As you can see right there. Looks pretty cool though, not gonna lie. Next up in the box we have this thing right here. This appears to be a homemade floating jig head. It, it looks like somebody just glued a cork to an old hook and there you have a floating jig head. Pretty useful. We have, a we have a little spinner right here. This is just a classic little spinner. You can buy these pretty much anywhere. Not super old, uh, but yeah, super cool nonetheless. We have a tiny little crappie jig thing right there. This is really interesting here. This looks like some sort of a homemade spinner. Somebody just took a bunch of swivels and a hook and a blade and tried to make their own spinner. That's actually really interesting. So at first I thought this was a pack of matches, but it turns out this is a packet of lead strips. They're actually packaged in there just like matches, as you can see. But they're thin little strips of lead, and basically what you can do is you can rip them off just like matches and wrap them around your line and add weight to your line. It's actually a really cool idea. And it's still in the original packaging. This is a old piece from the looks of it. We have a very old pocket knife right here. Uh, so whoever had this tackle box had, you know, this old pocket knife. Uh, it's a good thing to have in a tackle box. They have the basic bait knife and they have this pocket knife. Here's another little knife thingy mabob right here. At, when you fold it out, you basically have a bottle cap opener and a little blade at the front. Got a couple little spoons right there, as you can see. Uh, Pretty cool looking little things. Another spoon right here. Uh, this, uh, I believe, is an old jigging spoon right there, as you can see. Uh, basically used for, we, have, we also have a little jigging spoon right there. Pretty crusty, but still in working order. And then we have this little beauty right here. This is a Thomas Cyclone. And this bait actually looks like it has some age to it. Uh, this is a tiny little spoon right there. It's got some beautiful little dots on it, and it's, it just looks really, really beautiful. These are also very interesting. These are weird little lures of some sort. They have a bunch of beads up here. Then they have this kind of thin little chain right there and little hooks at the bottom. I don't know what these are. Are they some sort of lures? Are they some sort of fancy sinkers? I have no idea, but still very cool nonetheless. All right, moving on, we have a, a couple other spoons. We have uh, the classic red and white spoon right here. Very cool. We have another spoon. This is a blue fox. All right, this is a blue fox spoon right here. These are great. I love throwing spoons. You can never have enough of them in the tackle box. I don't know what this one is, but 
a lot of the paint's chipped off of it, but it's got that nice chrome showing. We have a weird uh, worm of some sort. I don't know what this is. It's Texas rigged. Uh, it looks like a pretty early plastic worm. It looks kind of like, okay, it's kind of like a, a tube, but it's more of a worm shape. Interesting. We have another bait right here. This is a plastic minnow with a hook embedded in it. This looks like a lure that Storm makes, although there's no real branding on it, so I can't really tell who made it. And we have another one of these spoons. And another plastic worm of some sort. This one's kind of old and stiff, but it's got multiple hooks in it, which is interesting. We have a little spinner bait right here. You can still buy these. This is not particularly an old lure, but uh, these are definitely good to have on hand, these tiny ones especially. I really like using them. Then we have some other interesting stuff. we got another little spoon right here. I've seen these around before. These are pretty cool. Then we got some interesting stuff here. we got some interesting stuff here at the bottom. I have no idea what this is. This looks like something that you would use to ice fish with. But again, I have no idea. It's a little piece of lead right there with some paint. And then it's got a little hook down at the bottom. It definitely looks like something you'd ice fish with, but I've never really seen the likes of that before. That is a cool little piece. Then we have this tiny little spinner. It's got two single hooks on the back, which I've never really seen before. Usually you'll see a double prong hook or you'll see a treble hook, but never two singles just kind of flopping in the back right there. That is an old piece. I've never really seen anything like that. It's pretty cool. Very tiny little bait. All right, moving on to the top shelf right here, we have, again, I don't know what these are. They look like some sort of fancy jigging spoon or something they maybe ice fish with. Very interesting lure. I have no idea what this is. This looks like a really weird lure. If you pull this, a little flap opens up and the hook is exposed. Does that make any sense? Is this one of these rocket fishing lures? Like the kind you, you pump up and you shoot. As I recall, they had really dumb uh, attachments that never really worked, and this might be one of them. This makes absolutely no sense. Here we have a vintage lure right here. This is a vintage uh, plug of some sort. Uh, there's no branding on it. It is made of plastic, and this is a pretty cool bait. I've seen this design around. Actually, I've seen this design bait. It must have been pretty popular because uh, it's, it's fairly popular. I see it a lot. Uh, you know, in old tackle boxes and stuff. This is this is pretty pretty standard fair stuff. Nevertheless, a really nice piece to have. This is an interesting looking lure right here. Uh, I've never quite seen anything like it, as you can see. It looks very very interesting. Again, not really sure what this is. Pretty cool looking though. It's got an interesting shape. Definitely old. Not super old, but definitely old. What else we got? We got a little tiny crankbait, and this one is not old, let me tell you that. You can buy these um, at Walmart right here. Then we have a really weird crawfish thing. I, I, what is, this is weird. This is, by, this is by Mr. Twister, okay? Does this, does this make any sense? This is by Mr. Twister. It's a crawfish, but it only has one claw. So I've never really seen anything like that before. It looks really weird. I've never really seen anything like that. If you, any of you guys know what this is, let me know down in the comments below. It's, it's by Mr. Twister. That's all I know. It's a very weird looking lure. All right, we have a Swedish pimple spoon. Uh, this is a pretty popular spoon. Uh, used a lot for um, ice fishing, as you can see right there. Still in the packaging. This isn't super old. Another little spinner bait right there. We have a small rat's nest of all kinds of lures. There's some spoons in there, there is a bunch of those weird lures that I keep talking about, the really weird ones with a little chain, and there's a beetle spin, there's a spoon, all kind of tangled up right there. Still cool stuff. We have another one of these really weird looking little jiggy things, I have no idea what they are. They look pretty cool, I'm guessing they're some sort of ice fishing bait. If you guys want to see some more videos like this where I go out and I buy an old tackle box like this and see what's inside, let me know down in the comments below. There's a ton of stuff here. Again, like I said, a lot of this tackle is fully functioning and I'm definitely going to put it to use. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that is new to me that I haven't really seen before and that's exciting because it, it gives me an opportunity to try some new stuff. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.